So you've got a Vortec motor truck that you have converted over to carburetor. And now you've got an issue. You can't get your motor to start. You can't find a hot wire. Or maybe you did. You just hot wired the distributor straight to the uh, post on the firewall. Well, we're gonna go over a couple of things at the moment. And that'll show you, one, how to wire your distributor up. And two, how you can overcome an issue that everybody runs into with these vehicles, which is uh, once you have everything going, you can't shift gears. That 4L60E is entirely electronic and you cannot get it to shift gears without the electronic signal. We're gonna fix that. First, let's get your vehicle running. You're going to look, go over here to your ignition coil off of your ignition coil you have a pink wire a white wire and a white black wire the two wires that we're gonna worry about are the white wire and the pink wire that pink wire you're gonna cut that sucker all right we're gonna go with pink here you're gonna cut it here's your plug you are cutting that pink wire. That pink wire is going to be your new hot to your distributor. All right. You may have to splice a piece in to get it to reach over to your HEI distributor, but that's what you're going to do with that one. That white wire, all HEI distributors have two points on the edge of the distributor. You have your ignition control module inside the distributor that hooks up in the back and that's got three wires to it then you got two wires and you got your battery over here to the right and you've got your tack to the left you're going to take this white wire and i'll have a way to mark a white wire so we're using green and that white wire you're going to splice into the tack side of your distributor that allows you to run your tachometer from the dash from the factory it works just like that as soon as you plug that white wire in boom you're ready to go now your tachometer is working your truck is running you're going down the road you're stuck in drive you don't have any gear shifting you need to fix this in order to get your gears to shift you need to come over here to your crankshaft position sensor on your crankshaft position sensor, you have three wires. You have a purple wire, a pink wire, and a yellow wire. Your yellow wire, you're going to cut it. All right. That is your signal wire for the crankshaft position sensor. You're no longer, if you're no longer running the crankshaft position sensor, you cut that wire. Go back over here. The crankshaft position sensor tells the computer the RPMs that the motor is turning. But say you've changed everything. You're no longer using the computer to run your injector system because you have a carburetor. What you need to do here is cut this yellow wire and splice it in to this white wire that's running to your tachometer off of your distributor. All right. So... Your white wire is going in here. Your yellow wire is now going in there too. As soon as you splice that yellow wire into the white wire, your truck will shift gears. Now there's also another issue. Your next issue is gonna be that your truck requires a throttle positioning sensor for the downshift. The throttle positioning sensor is something that uh, if you've got a holly based carburetor, you can order a $150 part that barely works and will probably make your throttle kind of sticky like it did mine. Uh, but once you have your that wired up, your throttle positioning sensor, you should be able to uh, use your kick downs in your gears. Otherwise, it's not going to kick down for you. But that's how it works. I'll do another video where I show under the hood everything that I did, 
but at the moment it's a mess under there and I still have that sticky throttle problem at the moment. So we're gonna work with it. Thank y'all very much.